You can see Florence there is there. Thank you very much. So the others, please don't worry. You will get similar certificates. Those are just samples. So all of you are going to get a certificate like that one. You will get a recommendation letter from His Excellency the Governor. And you're also going to get another letter from the Chief Officer of your department. So with those few things, I want to, to welcome Lucy, the Chief Officer, Governor's Office and Devolution, to say the closing prayer. Okay, let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. Thank you so, so much for this opportunity to have the exit meeting of the interns who joined us a year ago. We thank you for the experience that they have received, our Father. We thank you so much for what they have been able to go through in the name of Jesus, for the department that they worked for. We thank you. We thank you for their lives, our Father. Thank you for bringing them this far. There are so many others who would have wished to be part of this team, but they never made it. For that, God, we are grateful for this one. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for them. Even as we thank you for the entire session that we have had, the motivation they have received, God, the ones of counsel from His Excellency the Governor and the Deputy Governor, in the name of Jesus, we pray that that seed will grow in them in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for them that even as they go out of our Father, they will not be like anyone else who is looking for jobs outside there. We pray that you're going to give them favor in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, if there are companies to be started for them to work in, may it happen in the name of Jesus. If there are people to be read of or sacked, our Father, for them to get opportunities, Lord, may it happen in the name of Jesus. If there are people to be promoted, so that the God, their opportunities left to be raw for them. May it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. None of them will be depressed. None of them will be sick, our Father, for lack of jobs. We pray for them, Lord, as they go out there. May doors open for them. May you give them success, everlasting God. May you enable them to become our Father. And your name is going to be glorified. The same virtue, Lord, we want to thank you for our governor, our Father for starting this program for the young people. Lord God, we pray that you may bless him, even as he continues to do it, almighty God. May his doors be open. May you favor him. May you fight his battles, oh God. We pray that you may give him favor, Abba Father. Even when they, God plan what is not good for him, it will not happen. In the name of Jesus, when they dig holes for him, God and pits, we declare he will not fall on them, Abba Father, but the diggers themselves will fall into those pits in the name of Jesus. Any traps that may be set, he will never be caught by them. In the name of Jesus, as we declare no weapon fashioned against them shall prosper. And in the evil hour of God, we return it back to Seda. We thank you for the deputy governor. We thank you, God Almighty, for the executive. We thank you even for the board in the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, as we did this place, we live with your masses. May you favor us. May you work with us. May you bless us. And may you meet with our heart desires because each one of us has a prayer in heart. May you answer those prayers and your name shall be glorified. We thank you Lord, that we honor you. In Jesus' name, we do believe and pray. Amen. Your Excellency, before we exit, I need to acknowledge Dr. Cyrus Mwangi. Maybe you can stand so that the governor can see you. He's looking at the other direction. He was our motivational speaker before you arrived, Your Excellency. He is from Mountain View Medical Center, Chaka, and he did a good job with your students. You can see he is wearing William Samoa's suit, and we thank him for, for that. Asante Daktari, and Lucy also did some motivational talk before then also, before you came, so the people were well fed and the bishop was here. Well, I think it is two and uh, ten months from now, we shall be where they are. Atas <laughs> itu naenda nyumbani, if you are not aware. Mwajwa hiko watu hapo wanafikiria wa mefikiwa meori hapo. Wala watu wote tulingia na hawa. Na kama we ni waziri wangu. Ata chiyama na naenda mbele yetu. Even the vice chair public service is going at the end of November, at the beginning of November. Give her a clap. Sasa nini? Kama hata mi nitaenda. Nini inawatisha sasa? Si unazikia mimi hata mimi, wanguku wanaesabu siku. Wanazema, eh, ngoja tu. Wanguku na kina wa matinga hivo hivo. So, let me tell you one simple thing. The end of one thing is the beginning, and even a better one. And that's why I want you to be shining, smiling, 
laughing and enjoying yourself because you have had an opportunity that others did not get. The chairman tells me when we did apply, there were about 2,000 of you. 199 succeeded. Only 191 reported. And out of that, today I'm told we might have only 148 here. Because 20 nihawa. Uyu, nimeona procurement officer mwingine hapo. Negu wangapi wameajiriwa na kaunte ya buinu wa mkono? Tuone, if you have already gotten a job. Na by the way, munaweka ka mkono na muna ika manani? Unajua unaweza futwa? Ebu si mama? Stand, if you have already gotten a job with the county. Quickly, let's see them. Yeah? Why are they feeling guilty? See, while they applied and got the jobs. Can you give them a clap? <laughs> Sit down. So, those that didn't get a job is not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Because many times we have learned, and the bishop will tell you this, when you make a prayer, there are three possible answers. It is yes, no, or wait. So, where are you? Waiting. Waiting. Yeah, so, and one thing you have about yourself, tell your neighbor there, I have one advantage, I have age on my side. Yeah. You have age on your side. That's a, mimi na hii group yangu hii hapa, ni either tutafute mahali tutaenda after two and a half years, ama tufanyue hivi binguni. You can imagine us now on the road looking for a job with David. Mumesikia kazi ngapi zimeandikwa ati they are looking for former governors or former deputy governors. Si unaona ni matatizo. But I want to encourage you that it is how you manage a change that determines your success. Life is about change. And life is made sweeter by management of change. Because the only permanent thing in life is change itself. Did you know that? Let me give you a little one so you see. Remember when you were born, you could not walk, you were crawling, isn't it? But then you stood and started taking baby steps. Somewhere along the line, you, you were able to stand. And along that life, you were able to run. You know, walk, then run, and there you are today. If you did not manage any of those changes, ungekua na shida. But here you are now today. You still went to school. Kasoma. Sijui, I hope you are not the CBC. Mulisoma hile yangu, hile ya tunamaliza nasare, kama iko, kama hakuna, unaendelea to standard one. You finish form four, uh, standard, I think eight, or this is what you are eight. Then you go to form one, then you do form CG4, CG Munafanya KCSE, Amaidikua Gani. Then you go to university, you go to college, and here you are. And you have succeeded in all those changes, isn't it? So, can I make the first announcement so that if you are here, we already have how many vacancies? So I am already going to hire 210 for how many months? 18. For 18 months. At how much? Uh, the first month is 10,000. Training. Training. That's 15,000 for 11 months. Yeah, 15,000 for 11 months. After that, we hope they will have some people And they will go. Sasa si mumesikia? Kuna kazi. Na ina leo. Porto is opening today, and it is going to be closed on 30th of September, but there is a catch. We want agripreneurs, people with agricultural. Any, any qualification in agriculture for certificate to be free? Can you apply immediately? Sababu hiyo sasa inaeza kukusaidia wakati unatafuta hiyo kazi ingine, na unasikia nataka 210. And if I were you, even if I was an engineer, I would apply. Ni wende ni kawa convince uko mbele. Mimi, ata hii engineering yangu, inahusiana na tomatoes. Hii engineering yangu, inahusiana na cabbage. Ama, 
sini namna hiyo eh so sasa what is the link where is it is it in our portal mwangalie hiyo website ya county department of agriculture na kwa website yetu na hiyo watu wanasema ni agenda madam president weka hiyo na kusema kwanza hiyo agenda inaandamana sana na agripreneur <laughs> na kilimo wakati wanasoti huko tutaangalia hiyo maneno tunaelewana so that you have already heard that that is almost 18 months wakati hiyo haijasema ukiwa ndani hutatafuta kazi nyingine so it is important that you look there you you, you do the necessary yeah? kwanza hapo you will do the same very good let me also say some just a few things because what i should do here mostly is sing you a song called uh, goodbye koheri that but i won't sing that what i will say is that number one, we have had five cohorts the report i have got is that you are the most uh, the best disciplined and best, best behaved of all the five cohorts and for that i want to thank you and congratulate you i have had bet people who bet tunaamshwa saa nane ati watajinyonga mimi nasema simuachi nunulieni kamba ingine ah wananiambia ati hapana wakiwa na magret ati ati hapana mtu amechukua pesa zake amechukua za marafiki zake anaenda kubetika zote zinapotea alafu sasa anasema ananunua kamba ajinyonge see why don't you buy another him buy him another rope mwambie jinyonge mara mbili because hiyo ni ujinga isn't it but we have not had such cases of course i don't know what happens but every president gets married around here <laughs> sini kweli isn't it every president atikaa ka hapa either ana twitter harusi si nimeona namna hiyo I think we even attended one sometime a month ago. Eh? Yeah? Yeah, sasa si tunaombea neema bahati neema. Hata <laughs> neema neno yake ite. Si ni kweli? Yeah? We also wish her the very best na si sahau kutuita harusi tutakuja na keki, eh? Yeah? Isn't it? So, now that we are through with uh, the whatever we have had the internship, we have gained a lot of knowledge and experience. My message to you is simple as we release you to the world and into the world of job seeking and job creators we have full and total confidence in you and in your ability to join any government and ensure that it works because you have been an integral part of our success for this one year you have worked within the departments that have continued to shine in terms of service delivery to our people for that we are extremely proud as we release you today we release you like arrows arrows that can pierce into the deep world of this country and beyond your services are required but then the bible says we cannot light a candle or light a lamp and then cover it we have to make sure that the world knows we exist and how do we do that by positioning ourselves many times i tell many of the people as i speak to them that it is good and it is even better to be prepared for an opportunity and not get it than get an opportunity and not be prepared for it mine is to wish you the very best i have listened to the president here and you can see that is an officer confident who is able to address people and even and i'm sure in her the kind of work she is doing are you a gender officer are you a social social worker exactly you will be able to deliver for the people of kenya and even for this country so keep alert we advertise jobs every other day please keep in touch with our website keep there keep checking with the opportunities when it doesn't open try it another time and another time we now have a small team that is working around to improve it so that you are able to apply and we have told the chairman here and the board every one of us who presents a letter and who has 
gone through our internship program should be given first priority. And that is why, unless you apply, unless you speak about yourself, unless you introduce yourself, unless you pitch for yourself, nobody will remember you. But again, I have said, even I think on this floor, that if you can be the man who does the best in everything you do, for example, you write a better book than anybody else, you preach a better gospel than anybody else, even if you can make a better mousetrap than anybody else, the whole world will come looking for you, even if you have built your house in the forest. They will make a beaten path to your doorstep to look for that greatness in you. So, in your time here, you might have encountered different kind of people, which is, ex is, is expected because this is what makes life sweet. There are people who have tried to bring you down. Forgive them. It's not their fault. It is not their fault. They have, been, they have grown up in an area where everybody tries to bring everybody down. Even when you come after a wonderful hair, hair setting that has cost you, they say, hmm, this is life. Don't worry. You come in with a new shirt, they say, wow, it's life. That is how they grew up in their life. And they, are, they, are, they think that by bring, pulling other people down, they themselves rise, which is not true. This is something you are going to encounter in life. So come out of this place with a more conf confidence than you had. Yeah. So I know a number of you are writing to me and telling me, Governor, don't let us go. Yes, I wish I could. But then I have another lot I'm waiting for. I have to, when are we advertising? I think in early October, we need another 200 to come. But then we also need to release you so that you can go and serve the world. Because if we keep you here, how can we keep you here with 12,000 shillings and 10,000 when you are supposed to be earning 80,000 and 70,000? You see? So we will be doing you an injustice. We must release you to the world, go out there and serve. Pitch. Be there. Be forceful. Be encouraged. Whatever you do, stand firm. And remember that the Bible says, since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And it is only the violent who take it by force. Everything is a fight for it. Even as we are where we are because we've been fighting for our position. We fight for our space. So as you go out there, be aggressive. Be aggressive. Between now and 30th, you should have written about 200 applications. You write even to places where they have not advertised. And you visit those offices and tell them, I have come. And they tell you, no, we have no job. You said, no, maybe somebody died last night. That's why I came. <laughs> and you could replace me. You will get my point. But you cannot sit there and wait that you have gone home and think that good fortune is going to find you at home. You must be out there where they say, okay, what did you say? You go there today. They tell you, no, there is nothing. Okay, after three days you come back and say, I have come back to check whether there is any. We told you not to come. You say, no, but I thought, you know, anything could happen. Somebody could have been sacked. Somebody could have been laid off. Even somebody could have, could have died. The time you come five times, they will say, come here, go and bring me coffee. Utaaza kupata kazi ya office messenger. And you will grow like that person you have just been told by David, who was a driver, but ended up becoming an officer. To Nailawana, last but not least, and this one you must put in bold letters in your heart, do not ever allow other people's opinion of you to become your destiny. All right? Never allow what they think about you, what they say about you, that is their business. You must know who you are. All right? And who are you? Who are you? Are you what the world says you are? Are you say what others say you are? Or are you who you are and who God says you are? Yeah? Who are you? Think about that. That's a big question. You need to answer. Who are you? Who am I? Am I what the world says I am? Am I what people say I am? Or am I who God says I am and who I am? Think about it.
So once you know that, you forget you have clutches and you'll be the best employee, isn't it? Yeah, you will be there. And every one of you, I can see many of wonderful people. When me and David are working with our Mkongojo, because I think we are going to live about, to be about 120. We are good men. Don't you think so? Good men hardly die, isn't it? Yeah, so we might live to be 120. When I'm 120 and the groggy around this place, I would see these officers. Who knows, the next governor might be here. Who knows, the CECs might be here. Who knows, the next attorney general might, might be here. So mine to you today is to tell you thank you so much to encourage you, do not let anybody bring you down or pull you down, never. Walk with your head held high. You went to school, you have papers. Fight for the space, true? Are we together? Yes. yes. Even keep banging in this guy's office. See, you, naenda kwa kiona mambia. No, 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 nilikuwa na pita tu, nikasema ni kusalimia. Ata kuuliza, oh, where have you been? Usha pata kazi, na mambia bado. Ataweza kukuambia, oh, by the way, we are advertising for social welfare officers. Hey, Katiari. You know all these kind of things. But last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, you have made good friends. Keep the old, make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver, the other one is gold. All right? I wish you the very best. You have been wonderful people. We love you. We are happy. I may not know all of you. I may know just a few who I interacted with here and there. If you find me along the street, stop me and say, hi, I was an intern. Tuko pamoja? Tuko pamoja? Are you okay now? Are you feeling good? <laughs> Are you feeling better? Think about it. In two and a half years, I am also going to be where you are. And nobody might even hold a party for me. Akina wanguku watanifukuza kama kitu akibaya na wengine. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm preparing in my mind, just like you, that I will not, I will not stay here forever. And so I'm, I, I am also telling my people, they must prepare, because this, this beginning and endings are normal things. But there is one thing I know which drives me. If you go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number 3, verses 11, God talks about from verse 1 all the way up to verse 10, he talks about there is a time and a season for all things. Isn't it? Under the sun. A time to die, a time to, uh, to be born, a time to love, all those things. But there is a statement he makes in verse 11. He says, God made all things beautiful in their own season. Can you be in the right season? and be beautiful there. I wish you the very best and God's blessings. Tuko pamoja? Good. If, if these guys knew how to sing, I would ask them to sing you a song. Huh? They know. Nani anajua kuimba wimbo? It's a very... Uh, now, let me see you. Do you know the song called God Be With You Till We Meet Again? No. They don't know that. Yeah? You don't know when I, I'm Jewish. Yeah? It says, God be with you till we meet again. By his conscious guide uphold you. Nah, they don't know. Oh. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We will clap for the governor, the government way. And we'll be doing that while we are upstanding. One, two, three. Your Excellency, the Governor of Nyeri, thank you very much for your word, for your counsel, for your motivation. Funga, Fungua, Asante. Thank you, Excellency. Now we'll go to the last phase of this uh, event, which is issuing some certificates to a number of the interns. You know, every time the governor likes to speak, I don't ever see him as a governor. I see him as a statesman. Your Excellency, I see you as the president, maybe the deputy president, maybe working for the UN, maybe for those kind of things. And I'm also following you in 2027. I'm not going to grow in the county. I now request Mombi 
And Your Excellency, where is the, going, the governor going to issue the certificates? Here? Up here? Or down there? So I request the governor to please go down there as we call the interns. Yes, yeah, that is a nice place. We'll start with, the, I'll read the number. Edith, we'll start with Edith Nema Kavuva, Joseph Mwangi Kehara, Victor Derito Moturi, Rose Wamboi Mushiri, James Dongo Maina, Rose Wangoi Keguta, Florence Wajiro Derito, Evantas Derito Wavaya, Helen Waheto Moredi. So in that order. So we start with the first one. Edith Nema Kevova, Madam President. Joseph Mwangi Kahara. He was the smartest guy today. Victor